Hey guys, so I was offered this smartwatch by Watched and even though I've got an Apple Watch myself, I was really intrigued to try it out, so I tried it out. In the box you get the user guide, which is pretty standard and expected. You also get this sort of magnetic charging cable, which connects to the two pins at the back of the watch. It only connects in one way, as you can see, and that didn't work, so it must connect the other way, from the left. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. And then of course you get the smartwatch itself. I've got the rose gold model, but it's also available in black and white. As you can see, it's, well, it resembles the Apple Watch quite a lot, which isn't a bad thing. It's honestly what made me intrigued to try it out, alongside its features too, because it literally has everything you really need in a smartwatch. I'll get onto that in a bit, but yeah, I can't fault the design. It looks good and it actually feels pretty premium too, which is amazing for a smartwatch that's only £60. It's a bargain, especially when you compare it to the likes of the Apple Watch, which costs around £400, and also the Fitbit Versa too, which goes for about £200, so definitely a bargain. Alright, let's get on to its features. As you can see, you can't wake the screen by touching it. You have to push the crown in, which is just as easy to be honest. The watch face I set here looks really good, but it's a bit of a gimmick. Tapping on any of the icons doesn't actually open the relevant app, but pressing and holding down does allow you to easily change the watch face. You just gotta swipe to either side to view the different ones, but I'm gonna stick to this one. If you swipe from left to right, you can track your fitness. Turning the crown doesn't do anything, but you can simply swipe upwards or downwards to see the types of activities you can record. And then to record one, you just click on it, tap go, and you'll see a three second countdown before it starts tracking and monitoring. You won't obviously see the screen light activate since the watch will be strapped to your wrist. It will show you things like steps, calories, heart rate, time, and distance, etc. To stop your workout, swipe to your left, sorry, from your left to right, and then hit the X and save succeeded. Cool, so to return to the main screen from any app, you just swipe left to right like so. And if you swipe from your right to your left, you'll see the available apps. You can then use the touchscreen to navigate to the one that you want and do things like track your sleep, which is always useful. It's really responsive. You can also check your heart rate where the green light will activate again, which is probably, no, definitely my favorite feature. I think it's so important and yeah, mine ain't looking too good right now, is it? Moving on. Swipe down from the top and you'll see a few icons. The first one is the Bluetooth settings and then if you tap the eye, you'll see some information about the watch like the connected services and version, etc. Nothing too exciting. This one in the middle is the battery monitor. You can't see any bars inside it, which means it's extremely low and needs charging. Next to it is the alarm clock, so you can of course set an alarm. Setting the time is as easy as it looks. You can set it to repeat if you want and choose from five different tones. So yeah, that's handy, especially if you wear your watch to bed to track your sleep. And if you don't, you'll still hear the alarm, obviously. The bottom one here brings up a QR code, which you can basically scan to download the app. So just open your camera, position the QR code in front of it, and then you should see a pop-up link show up. Tap that and you'll see options to download the app for Android or iOS. I've got an iPhone, so let's hit iPhone download. So I already had the app downloaded, that's why it says open. Let's get them paired. Should take a few seconds. And yeah, you can see Watch 6 is connected in my Bluetooth settings. And yep, I definitely want the watch to display notifications. It's a convenient feature, I mean, why would you want them off? So yeah, as you can see, the app shows data from the watch. You've got ECG, heart rate, blood oxygen, sleep, blood pressure, and your fitness activities. All these are really good features of this watch. I'm definitely glad I tried it out. The sport menu on the app lets you track your distance, but I find it better to do it directly from the watch. Switch to the device menu and you'll find it's got a really cool feature where you can find your watch if you've lost it. It'll start playing a sound on the watch to help you locate it, and then you'll see this message appear on the screen too. Nice. Then you've got what they call dial push, which lets you install a selection of different watch faces so that you can personalize it to an extent. Once you hit install, it takes roughly about 30 seconds. 
Oh, and going back to the last icon on the menu that I was showing earlier, you can set how you want the apps to appear. So let me set it to 9 apps. Swipe to the left and you'll notice how you can only see 9 apps at a time. Let me just switch it back to Smart Style for comparison. Yeah, I definitely prefer this one for sure. I like being able to see almost all of the apps on the screen. Okay, let me take you through the settings app. You can set things like the sound for example. You may want it to vibrate only or you may want to hear the tone or both. You can also set the volume for notifications, calls and media. You've also got things like screen timeout. 5 seconds is definitely too low, I need to change this quick. Let me set it to uh, 50 seconds should be alright. There's also the screen brightness. You can also set the clock from here, change Bluetooth settings and reset the watch as well. Oh, and swiping from the bottom to the top will show you any unread notifications. That's a smartwatch by Watched in a nutshell. Oh, one last thing, the straps are super easy to change. You kind of just slide them out and then slide them back in. Just as a heads up, I can confirm that the Apple Watch straps are compatible, so you've got a wide choice on the market to get replaceable straps if you wanted. I'd personally get them from eBay or Amazon. There's no need to pay extortionate prices. But yeah, all in all, this watch is really good. It's feature packed with every feature you'd need from a smartwatch really. My mum's loving it. She mainly used it to track her fitness, primarily walking and also to keep an eye on her heart rate and her sleep. If I didn't already have an Apple Watch, I would definitely have kept this for myself. It's actually a very brilliant alternative and so much cheaper. At £60, you just can't go wrong. It's the cheapest feature packed smartwatch on the market right now. If you wanted to get one, you can use the promo code on screen now to get 10% off. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and thanks for watching.